This is the new Octopus Electric Vehicle Charger. We have an untethered version and a tethered version. And this video, we're going to be going through whether you should have one installed. Now, I will need to install one of these as my actual charger tonight because my current charger has actually packed up and I need some room to replace it. So let's get this untethered one out of the box and get it fitted. Now, normally when I do an EV charger review, I'd be taking this out of the box and stripping it down inside, going through in a full engineering breakdown of the charger. If you want that video, it's coming. So you have to click subscribe, click that notification bell, and I'll get round to it. But for now, I needed a charger to charge tonight, so it seemed adamant that I needed to get something fitted on the wall today to charge my car, and that's why that's there. But if you're wanting to get one of these installed by Octopus Energy, go to evnick.com forward slash charge, where you can get £25 off any EV charger installed from Octopus Energy, even if it's not one of these, it includes Omi, Hypervolt, and a whole list of other chargers. So we have the two units here, the tethered and the untethered unit. Now the tethered unit, as you can see, is smaller than the untethered unit. Now this might polarize your opinion on whether you get an Octopus EV charger or which version untethered or tethered you get. Now I've got videos on whether to pick untethered or tethered, but bear in mind the tethered unit of the Octopus charger comes standard with one lead length only, which is five meters. So if you're needing a longer lead and want this charger, you're gonna have to go for the untethered unit. Another thing that you might be wondering is, should you be getting an Octopus Energy made charger in the first place? And in this video, we're gonna be tearing through whether there's risks on buying a charger that's Octopus branded and what that means if you want to move energy company in the future. So firstly, if you get this charger, does that mean that you are locked into staying with Octopus Energy forever and you can never move to another energy company with this charger? Initially, you can only control it in the Octopus Energy app or on Octopus Energy Intelligent. However, after the few months have passed, Octopus Energy will have a little surprise on what this will be able to do if you're with another energy company. Now, once your Octopus engineer has left sight, he may have already done this with you, but if not, to basically get this in the Octopus app, it is absolutely as easy as possible. Now, first of all, if you've already got an intelligent control car in there or intelligent control charger in there, you'll first need to disconnect that device before setting up this one. You hit disconnect, it'll say add EV charger, you'll press add EV charger, and then you'll need to be in the vicinity of this. You'll hold down a button under here which turns on a local Bluetooth signal to the charger. Your Octopus app will talk to the charger. It will ask for your Wi-Fi credentials, and then you'll input that, and the next question it will ask you is what make and model you, of car you have. Now, more on that later, because it's not exactly what you'd hope it would do. So although it asks for the make and model of the car, it doesn't ask you to log in with the API credentials like another charger that I've reviewed before has. Now, the charger that interrogates the API that I've reviewed before knows that the percentage state of charge on the car, so when you plug it into Intelligent, it says, what would you like to charge your battery to? 50%, 60%, 80%, or 100%, and then it will schedule those intelligent hours based on how much power it needs, it knows needs the battery, sorry, it knows the battery needs to input. Now, on Octopus Charge, what will happen is, you'll plug the car in and it asks you how much percentage you'd like to add to the car. So if the car is on 50% and you say 60, it doesn't mean charge to 60%, it means it will charge to 100% because that's the total, 60 plus 50 means it will, hit 100% and well, you won't get the extra 10% of hours. Now what that means is when calculating the intelligent hours, they might not be right for your car because if your car finishes charging before uh, those hours are scheduled, it will just stop charging where on the other charges that interrogate the API, they can. Now, Octopus do have API works for each some certain brands of cars and I thought they would have incorporated that workload into the Octopus charge Hopefully, they might do this in the future, but they don't at the moment. Now, if you're a Home Assistant user, you'll be glad to know that all the triggers on Home Assistant are in the normal Octopus API. So if you have a battery system like me that you need to be triggered when it's charging, you can do that. Now, luckily for me, I like this color. As you can see, I have an Octopus heat pump in this very similar gray, but it's only available in one color. So if you don't like the surround of this and the front of this, then pick another charger because it's only possibly going to be sold in one color to keep the price down as low as they've got it more on the price later the other thing to bear in mind and this is a real bit of an annoyance for me this status light is very very bright but luckily it can be changed to a lower brightness setting 
but only in the engineer's setting. So if, when the engineer is installing it, it might be worth mentioning if you don't want a bright light and you're in a sort of like a darkish area, for them to turn it down to the lowest setting. It would be really nice, Octopus, if you could incorporate that into the customer's app, because that's a setting that some customers might not be aware of on the day of install. Now, the good thing about it is it, it is connection agnostic. And what I mean by that is you can either use the cellular built-in SIM card in this or connect it to your Wi-Fi that I mentioned before. There is no Ethernet port inside the char charger, so if you want to put direct Ethernet into it because you can't get Wi-Fi or mobile signal out there, then it isn't the charger for you. But most people will be able to get one or the other in their chosen location or at least boost it up with a wi-fi extender you'd be surprised how much mobile signal is available outside so there is one way of checking it which is move your mobile near it now just because your network doesn't get signal there other networks may they're a multi-sim so they work with multiple sim cards there's a lot of EV chargers that only have cellular. The fact that this has cellular and Wi-Fi gives the ability to roll over between the two means that you'll always get your intelligent hours allocated if one of them has a signal. Now, one of the common questions I got asked is, does it work with them up there, the solar panels? And what I mean by that is, can you charge off solar export? And the answer is pretty much yes. If the engineer has set the CT clamp in the install settings when installing the charger to say, does the customer have solar? Yes, then that means it would basically allow the solar panels when, during, during export to see, be seen by the CT clamp that they're exporting and then start charging the car. Now, unless you're on a fit system, an old type solar feeding system, then you probably don't want to charge from your solar panels. Now, it's nice to have the option for the future if things change, but at the moment, you can charge an Octopus Intelligent for 7p and export for 15p. It makes far more sense to export that solar at 15p and import it during the night when it's windy and cheap and green at 7p. So what happens if you leave Octopus Energy, will this thing still work? Now, much of the same questions were faced when I got this heat pump, the Cozy 6 installed by Octopus Energy. Will you better heat house when you leave them? Will you better heat hot water? Well, they actually install these for non-Octopus Energy customers as well as Octopus Energy customers, and they control it via the Octopus Energy app. Uh, they can turn the heat pump off and on and still control everything. Now, you can get one of these fitted by Octopus Energy if you're a customer or not, and get £100 off at evnick.com forward slash heat pump. But forget this for a minute. Let's move back to this. I asked that exact question, can this work? with other energy companies? Will it be able to be smart, controlled by other energy companies? And I kind of got an answer that I was and wasn't expecting, which was they aim for this to be energy company agnostic. And they said that they will work with, it will work with any energy company that use the same standard. Now, you could read into that that the standard is Kraken. Kraken is a spin-off of Octopus Energy's tech department that sells billing services to other energy companies. Even here in the UK, there are several energy companies that use Kraken as a billing system. There's ones all over the world, but Kraken is now its own individual company that's been span off and listed on the NASDAQ as a separate company from Octopus Energy. But does that mean that this will only work with Kraken billing partners? No, I think they mean same standard, and I think they mean by that OCPP. So I think you could input your own OCPP details into this and make it work with pretty much any other energy company. And if you're wanting one of these, you can go to evnick.com forward slash charge where you can get £25 off your install off one of these chargers. And if you enjoyed this, by the way, check out these reviews here of other chargers I've done and maybe click subscribe.